I absolutely love my Jumper T15. As you can see in some of my previous videos, I've been customizing it to create something truly unique. One of those standout features of this radio is the big, vibrant, color touch screen, which offers a world of customization possibilities. Naturally, I had to find something both cool and functional to make the most out of it. After a bit of searching, I came across Daniel Barrios, an FPV enthusiast who shares my passion for drums. But with one big advantage, he's a programming wizard. Thanks to his skills, my T15 now features custom widgets that takes the telemetry data from my drone and display it beautifully on the screen. One of my favorite widgets is the GPS display. It's incredibly useful because if my drone ever goes down, I can quickly check the GPS coordinate directly on my T15s to locate it. Even if the battery has been ejected, the GPS widget is going to keep those coordinates on the screen, so for me it's going to be easy just to look at them, get it into my phone and go and pick up my drone. I didn't do much beyond downloading and installing the widgets, the real magic is all thanks to Daniel's hard work. I reached out to him to share more about how he created these amazing tools and here's what he had to say about it. Hey, I'm Daniel Barrios and this is my Jumper T15. If you fly FPV, you should know that having the right information on the screen makes a big difference. So this is why I built some customized widgets for this screen and I will show you the process, why did I do it. If you are interested, you have a screen color, why not install it on your controller as my friend Juan already did. Some people will tell that having a color screen in your radio is not that important and it might not be necessary but if you have it and you can customize it the way you want and you know FPP is about customizing, this is the right way to go. So what do I have here? I have some information about a, a radio transmitter, in the drone battery, the GPS coordinates, also information about the link because this is very important. You need to know, for example, the package rate you want to fly. So it is important before taking off to know that all the information that you might require from your drone, you have it there in the screen as easy as you can. Why did I decide to do this? I'm always trying to find ways to enhance my FPV experience and you know FPV is always about customizing your things. So this Jumper T15 felt like a blank canvas with immense potential. I was decided between Boxer and Jumper T15 but then I said like okay let's try to customize this colorful screen. So in the beginning I was disappointed with how limited the screen functionally was. Labels were few characters so I was not able to write anything and then I wanted to make it better. This frustration pushed me to develop custom widgets and I wanted to show the telemetry before flying. I saw an opportunity to enhance the functionality with these custom widgets, making it even more useful for SPV needs. I was excited to customize its functionality to match my flying style and needs and I wanted to make my transmitter not just a tool but a personalized interface to add value to every flight. Telemetry is like having a direct line of communication with your drone. It provides real-time data that is crucial for decision-making before flying. So Lua scripting is a lightweight programming language that is perfect for creating custom functionalities on devices like this Jumper T15. It's relatively easy to learn and incredibly powerful letting you manipulate the data, create interactive widgets, and adapt the transmitter to your specific needs. Right now, there are some current limitations. It's a fixed layout. One of the things that happened was that Juan was having issues when installing the one of the widgets, and it was because of the version of the radio. The main thing here is that I didn't have like too many devices to test. I only tested on my radio, and I, had, and I have a control HTX version that I installed myself and for me it worked perfect but then for one it was not working and we had to uh, make some adjustment at the end he ended up installing the latest version of HTX I'm planning to add more features and refine it 16 ones uh, one of the things I want to do is custom layouts providing more flexibility in widget placements and probably new widgets if someone out there can find a functionality and can request it through my github account i can work on that for sure if it can be helpful in the future welcome to htx telemetry connected 
Let's see how we install this widget step by step. The first thing to do is to go to GitHub. I'm going to leave a link in the description so it's easy for you to get there. And once you're there, you're gonna go and download the zip. These files has to be uncompressed in your computer and then you can go inside to look at the widgets that Daniel has created. We then proceed to connect the radio to the computer, making sure that we select the USB disk as the option or USB storage as the option in the radio. Once you do this, you're gonna get a new drive in your computer, disk EMG, where you're going to transfer all these widgets that Daniel created inside your radio's widget folder. We now have to select the right layout and select the right configurations to add the widgets to your home screen. The layout that we're gonna choose is this one, two plus three, this one that we have here. And then I normally turn off all this because I, I want to have full screen the widgets that Daniel created. Then if we select here, set up the widgets, we have the different areas and we can start adding the widgets that we want here. We're gonna have the model widget down here. We can have the RX widget. On the top right, we can have the clock widget. Here in the middle, we have the battery widget. And then down here, we have the GPS widget. These two, they don't show up until you connect the drone. So now that we have selected everything, we can test by connecting a drone that is has connection to your radio and we should see all the widgets coming up. For me, it's amazing to know about all these widgets and how can you do them and how can you use them. And I wish that there was like a centralized place where everyone that can create these kind of things could announce their widgets so people can go there and download and use them depending on where in their FPV trip they are. If you have any widget that you want to share with us because you think it is cool and useful, leave a comment in this video and let us know about that super cool widget that you know about. In the meantime, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.